Oh yeah, guys. We about to blow past an e-biker. Right now, go and catch him. This is what you do, stay motivated on the trail. Dude ain't even pedaling. I'm pedaling my ass off. On your left. On your left. Oh yeah. And that's how we pass up an e-bike, baby. What's up, y'all? Welcome to Thoughts from the Trail, episode one. We freestyling out here on the trail today. And I just wanted to kind of talk about what I'm gonna be posting on my Instagram as well as on YouTube. So if you haven't noticed, I've been posting a lot of like what I've been eating on my story. Um, and that's probably where I'm gonna keep posting that kind of stuff. I will be doing reels and I'll pretty much be doing everything the same on Instagram, except for I'm gonna to try to post more to my story to really show everything that I'm eating. I didn't wanna do a day, uh, like a, a actual regular post for that um, because I felt it would get a little uh, overwhelming. I mainly wanna do it just for those who might be curious about what I'm eating and maybe if they wanna try to eat what I've been eating to see if they get similar results. So that's kind of why I'm doing it in the stories and where I'll continue to do it. Now for YouTube, I'm gonna be doing longer videos with more information about everything, about what I'm eating, what I'm doing to work out, along with uh, reviews on stuff that I buy, exercise equipment, this bike, for example, if I do any upgrades, I'll do how-to and review videos for those. So that's what I'm gonna be doing on YouTube. Longer content, probably gonna do rides like this, maybe where I talk a little bit, discuss trails and check out new trails, let you know where they are, that type of thing. So that's kind of what's going on from that point. Now, the food aspect, I really kind of want to talk about because normally, okay, so obviously I'm doing low carb. So normally what I do, is I eat breakfast and then 12 to 14 hours later I'll fast or I'll fast during, for 12 to 14 hours and then I'll eat dinner and it's just an, a normal dinner you guys have seen some of the stuff so that's pretty much what I do now every now and again if I'm hungry I will eat a third meal for example last week Thursday and Friday I ate lunch I don't normally do that but I was feeling hungry so I did it all right, so back to what I was saying, the cool thing about low carb, okay? I'm a guy that was eating out fast food two to three times a day, easy, easy. And when I talk about I was eating fast food, it was like going to McDonald's, four McDoubles, cheese and ketchup only, two large fries type of thing. So it's very hard for people to break away from that. You know what I mean when they're trying to diet? Because you crave it and it's easy. Like. Ever since I started doing this low carb thing, I've been cooking more than I've ever cooked in my entire life. Like it's crazy how much I'm cooking. But every now and again, you get those cravings. Well, what I did on Thursday, for example, last week, I ate breakfast like normal, got hungry around lunchtime, decided, you know what? I'm just gonna go get uh, a couple of cheeseburgers. So I ran down to uh, Freddy's Steak Burgers, got me two, double bacon cheeseburgers, no bun, and ate it, loved it. Then I had a normal dinner. Friday rolls around, got a super busy schedule, ran to McDonald's, uh, decided I was gonna get four sausage egg McMuffins and, with no English muffin. So that's what I got, that's what I ate. Lunchtime rolled around, was hungry again. Uh, decided we're going right back to Freddy's Steak Burgers. Got, Two double bacon cheeseburgers, no bun, no fries. And that's what I had for lunch. Dinner rolled around, ordered pizza, scraped the toppings, and that's what I had off the crust. So no crust, and that's what I ate. And guess what? A lot of people could say, well, that's dirty keto. You shouldn't be promoting eating fast food, this and that, and whatever. But at the end of the day, it's about what's going to work for me. What's going to help keep me on track? And I lost 3.8 pounds last week doing that whole regimen. So, and I was in ketosis. No, it's not pretty. Should I always be trying to be healthier? Probably. But on the flip side of that, if I had to do something like that, that so settles a craving 
and keeps me on my low carb diet, then I don't have a problem with it. So, and I also have adult beverages all the time. Um, and I know that's not good either. And people probably would say, you shouldn't tell people to drink when they're dieting. You probably lose more if you weren't drinking, but it's just reality. That's what I'm trying to just show is like my reality. Here's what I'm doing. Maybe if you want to try it, you might get similar results. I don't know. But you guys also see I work out really hard too. So that's playing a role in calorie deficit. But I just want to be transparent with all that. So I'm going to be posting more of that on my story. So anyway, if that interests you guys, be sure to follow my story posts. And um, like I said, YouTube will have longer content where I talk more about this stuff. But that's what I'm doing. And I definitely would like to do more of these ride and chat videos so i'm really hoping you kind of dig them uh, because my heart rate goes way up when i'm talking like and that all is calories being burned when that heart rate gets up there i know i'm putting in work i always wear a heart rate monitor i hate working out without one i wear a polar um, <clears throat> and it's just uh, one of those pieces of equipment that i just always like to have it lets you know when you're doing extra and lets you know when you're slacking anyway guys I hope I didn't offend anybody with my dirty keto talk, but I'm just trying to keep it real, especially for those of you men who are struggling, who are like, I can't give up everything. You know, I'm giving up too much. Well, I've given up a lot of carbs, but I've been able to eat fast food and I've been able to have some adult beverages and still be able to lose this weight. So you got to do what works for you. And anyway, I'm just sharing what's working for me because it's possible it might work for someone else. And if it does work for somebody else and they get the same results, man, that's awesome. I just wanna help inspire people, man, to get it done. I never thought that I would've lost this much weight in such a small amount of time. It's been amazing. Plus when you start losing, when you first start, working out sucks, it's hard, it's uncomfortable. You can't do the exercises right because you got fat in the way. I know, I was there. As soon as you start losing it though, exercise becomes fun. Like I'm really enjoying the riding. So I'm probably gonna stick with cycling through the summer, bike as much as I want because I'm having fun. I'm liking it and therefore it's coming easy. But my goal is gonna be to get back on the home gym, the rep fitness equipment in the winter and hit that stair mill. So that's kind of what I'm focusing on now. If that changes throughout the summer, then it changes. I'm going with the flow. But right now this feels good. Anyway, guys, I am going to throw the headphones on and crank this one out. I'm hoping to hit 30 miles today. This is the second workout of the day. And just everybody out there, keep, keep consistent. Keep doing your thing. You got this. Keep kicking ass. Back guy out.